hey hello friends welcome to my channel sapsd and abap league support today we'll discuss about one more sapsd real time scenarios okay so here the request from the business is that they want to they are expecting okay they are expecting that only one delivery should be created for the entire order okay based on under delivery tolerance okay the unconfirmed item should be rejected because this is the main requirement from business so they are expecting only one delivery for an order entire order based on the tolerance limit threshold threshold or tolerance limit specified by the business okay and uh, once the one once that uh, first delivery has been created okay immediately one job should run okay that should run and that should reject the items which are not confirmed yet okay let me put in another way basically customers are usually concerned by two factors first thing is that the date of the delivery so when the de goods will be delivered that's the first parameter and the second is that the amount of the goods that they are going to receive and based on that which they can perform their operations let me repeat there are two factors a customer looking from the vendor to deliver the goods the first thing is that the date of the delivery so when the delivery will take place second is that what is the amount of the goods will be delivered to perform their operations these are the two factors which is mainly focused by the customer and these two scenarios will go hand in hand okay so this is where our requirement has been came okay so let me show you the slides first you will understand better see again i'm saying here the same thing customer wants only one delivery after that any unfulfilled item should be rejected by the background job you see the picture speaks more than the words you see here the in this glass the water is filled for example 30 percentage this time no delivery has been created and if you see that uh, second glass it's filled with uh, more than 50 percentage so in this case also no delivery is created coming to third case 70 percentage of the water has been filled in that glass still no delivery has been created in these three cases the bottle not filled as per the customer expected limit the customer is saying that he wants the glass should be filled more than 80 percentage if it's 80 percentage filled then only deliver the goods to me then unconfirmed item should be rejected so i'm saying the same thing again and again to make you understand okay let's go ahead now so how we are going to achieve this functionality how we are going to identify that which customer is responsible or eligible for this functionality see in the system there are thousands of customers are available but uh, how to identify which customer is expecting only one delivery 
and the remaining unconfirmed item should be rejected that is decided based on the two parameters in the customer master in the shipping tab that is partial delivery per item if it is maintained as b so what does it mean create only one delivery b means system will create only one delivery right and second thing is that maximum partial delivery allowed as one see we have maintained as so one here so maximum delivery is one and for an item it should be also one only so based on this b and one combinations we are understood that this customer is expected this functionality and moreover these two parameters partial delivery per item and maximum partial deliveries might determined from either sold to or cmir records cmir records is the more priority than sold to customer if there is no entry maintained in cmir then it will be determined from sold to customer only okay so based on these two parameters we are identifying that whether the customer is eligible for this functionality or not and same information can be transferred to the shipping tab in the item level of the order you see b and 1 is maintained okay so as i said earlier so customer is putting only one delivery based on the i mean whenever that uh, threshold is met then only the delivery should create if you see in this uh, slide for every sales area and sold to ship to customer wise we have maintained some under delivery tolerance limit right so if you maintain that limit only the cmi records are sold to customer level means that's applicable to that entire sold to only so wherever the sold to is used which are which, which sales area that is used means there and all there and all it's applicable right so but we want to restrict based on the sales area sold to customer and ship to customer and transportation group of the material so based on this combination if we want to restrict the under delivery tolerance it's not possible with the standard design so that's why we are going with the custom design to develop one custom table with combination of these parameters sales area sold to customer ship to customer transportation group and under delivery tolerance so whenever this parameter has been satisfied then the limit will be the limit the threshold the maximum limit the customer is expecting to deliver it that's maintained here under delivery tolerance right so okay let me explain you one more time so if i for example there are two items in the order so order 10 has 10 eches and each eches is equal to 2 kg remember here it is the the volume is kg here and one eches is equal to 2 kg now so volume will be measured in kg or liters only okay so coming to order 20 has 5 eches and each ea is equal to 3 kg so total volume of the first item is 10 into 2 20 kg now coming to the second item total volume is 15 kg this is the overall volume so total volume is total volume is 35 kg so i am explaining these uh, things to understand how we should verify this limit with under delivery tolerance okay so total volume certified kg is now for uh, item 10 only 7 each is confirmed 
under the schedule level in schedule and table schedule and level tab we see that apart from apart from 10 only 7 hs has been confirmed that means the percentage the volume here is that for 7 hs is that 7 into 2 14 so so 14 kg is the volume here for the first item okay for item 20 nothing is confirmed right that means so nothing is confirmed here okay now how to how system how the logic return to calculate the total volume of this order has been confirmed you see here the total volume confirmed is 14 kg the formula is very simple so volume of confirmed quantity divided by volume of unconfirmed quantity that is 14 by now how many are unconfirmed so in case of item 20 what's that unconfirmed is total is unconfirmed so 15 15 plus what about that uh, first item's total volume is 20 already 14 is confirmed right so 20 minus 46 right 6 plus 15 6 plus 15 is what 21 now what we need to do we need to divide it 14 by 21 how much it is 66 percentage okay equal to point that means 66 that is if you divide it means 66 percentage okay it is saying that for for this order the total confirmed quantity in a volume so they are not measuring it based on confirmed quantity they are measuring it in the confirmed volume remember this not confirmed quantity it's confirmed volume okay the total confirmed volume is 66 percentage and if you see in the slide for example for none of this uh, for, for example let's, let's take the first scenario first uh, sales area our sales, for our scenario met this first record okay here the limit has been maintained at 68 right but what has been confirmed now 66 has been confirmed only 66 has been confirmed it is not met the tolerance limit here it's not met with the tolerance limit so in these cases okay in this case customer can say that okay so two more percentage needs to be confirmed right to meet the threshold i can wait for 48 hours so now customer is saying that to confirm that the remaining two percentage i can wait for 48 hours so you can wait for 48 hours and get that other remaining two quantity should be confirmed either two quantity will be confirmed or it can be confirmed more 70 percentage 80 percentage 90 percent can be confirmed it depends based on the stock availability but he's expecting that i will wait for 48 hours let me wait for 48 hours and let's let's see whether two percentage has been confirmed or not okay if after 48 hours if uh, the limit reaches more than 68 means delivery will be created if not means user can take a decision to either reject the order completely or try to perform ATP on the order so that is user decision only hope I made this point very clear okay 
and this is what i explained in the next slide you see how the the threshold has been calculated volume of the confirmed quantity in the schedule line level divided by volume of all non confirmed and non rejected schedule lines in the order based on this formula we are comparing the value with the threshold or under delivery tolerance maintained in the customer master level if that is both are met then delivery will be created once that is done then after that uh, one uh, background job runs as i said in the beginning right that will kill the item number 20 here that will kill the item number 20 so you might ask so uh, item number 20 only killed after the batch job runs when the, when the first so first delivery is created then this background job has been this this is a custom report <clears throat> remember this is a custom report running to check this uh, orders whether delivery is created or not if it's created then reject the unconfirmed items if it is uh, if it is rejected means overall status of the item will become completed and coming to the first item as i said in the initial screen that we are maintaining b and 1 there right that means for an item it's allowed only one delivery right in this case what will happen whenever first delivery created for the first item then even though for partial quantity still this item status will become will become completed and this this is will be completed by the rejecting the item by the background job okay so for example let me give you one uh, another example here so this lady he's this lady is very hungry now and uh, she is capable of eating two burgers or two sandwiches whatever it may be okay or two idli or two dosa as of now in the hotel only one sandwich is available right so the rule from that uh, hotel is that they can prepare the food once in a day that's it they won't prefer for second time if you have that one burger and move away means the the hotel will be closed as i said the hotel can cook and deliver only once if you think that no no i can wait for uh, one hour or two hours therefore i can get two burger or two sandwiches so that is also fine because ultimately the hotel management will prepare i'll prepare the food only one time they can't prepare it twice so either she can go with the available only one or she can wait and get ready for the second one also it's up to the her choice the healthy time here is that one hour okay this is one of the best example for this particular functionality okay let me repeat one, one more last time to make you understand better so the customer is expecting that only one delivery for an order whenever the minimum threshold has been met that threshold limit maintained in one custom table the custom table contains a field combination of sales area sold to customer ship to customer transportation group and the limit tolerance limit once the first delivery has been created then one custom background job runs to reject an item in the order for which one delivery has been already completed okay this is the main requirement of the customer if you still have any doubts or concerns please do let me in the, let me know in the comment section we can discuss it further okay bye for now we'll meet in the next video thanks everyone